Today's video will be outlining steps on how you can check your Wi-Fi signal strength. I had a subscriber ask me, they were concerned with their Wi-Fi signal strength and they had actually installed an app, I believe it was the Peloton app, and it was coming in choppy and it wasn't syncing. So they asked, is there any way they can check their Wi-Fi signal strength? Well, there's several different ways you can do it. But if you want to do it using your Nordic Track treadmill or your bike or your rower, or your elliptical or your free stride trainer, there's a way you can do that and I'm going to show you how. Let's go ahead and get on our machine and we will have to go into privilege mode. And for those of you that don't know how to get into privilege mode, it's a pretty simple technique. It's called the 10 tap technique and I will demonstrate right now. We're going to do 10 taps wait seven to eight seconds and then do 10 taps again and that should provide us with a little pop-up right here here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and boom setting privilege mode to true so now we can swipe either up or swipe down whichever way you prefer we'll swipe up and then hit on the circle. And if you'd like to know more about the triangle, the circle, and that square, look up here, I have a video that talks about those three icons and, and how they allow you to navigate through your privileged mode. From here, we're going to switch to a screen capture utility so that it will get a better uh, picture. It won't have me moving this camera around. Bear with me, one second. While we're waiting for me to set up the screen capture why don't you check out this commercial all right we're back let's go ahead and hit on this circle with the six dots and then we are going to go to settings i've got so much stuff here i have to clean it up there's settings right there and in settings we're looking for something that's called developer options if you don't have developer options here it should be on this bottom fourth if you don't have developer options then we will go into about tablet And from about tablet, we will click on the build number. Just keep clicking on the build number and then something will eventually happen. You'll see some pop-ups telling you that you're getting closer and closer to developer options. Here you go. Watch this. Look at that. Only two steps away from developer. Just keep tapping. One step away. Keep tapping. You are now a developer. It's that simple. And what does that mean that you are now a developer? Well, if you go back, there you go, developer options. That's pretty cool, right? So now from developer options, let's go ahead and click on that. And we are going to scroll all the way up. And hopefully you have this option that's part of your developer options. These are my developer options, but I'm running an Android 5.1.1. How can you tell what Android version you're running? Really quick, let's go back. And we will say about tablet. And right there. It says Android version 5.1.1. So if you're running 5.1.1, but if you're running a 7 point something or higher, your options may be a little different. But bear with me, you should still be able to run this same test. Comment below if, if yours is significantly different than mine. All right, so let's get out of About Tablet and let's go back into Developer Options. From here, we're going to go all the way to the bottom. And right there it says open buried app and if you've seen some of my other videos I have a previous video where I talk about this we're going to click on it and then we're going to change the tango C when you do that this menu comes up I want to caution you I'm not very familiar with all of these <laughs> menu options so I would not click on any of these because I'm not really sure what raster mode with offset means or EE prom offset so I don't mess with that. Instead, I'm gonna swipe up, go back, and then now, if you notice, it says Open Buried App Tango C. Click it again. And when we change back to Malata Engineer Mode, you will get this, this test display. And this is something that I've talked about in a previous video. If you wanna know more about this, I will provide a link up here talking about this display more in detail. But the, the reason we're here is not for touchpad test. It's not for ethernet test. It is for the Wi-Fi test. Can you see that? Yep, Wi-Fi test. And we're not here for the audio 
video test. Obviously, they didn't think anybody was coming here because they misspelled that. Because you know what that does if I click that. And if you're not sure what that does, click up there and you'll see. But for now, let's go ahead and concentrate on why we're here. We're here for the Wi-Fi test. Let's click it. And you're going to see certain numbers that pop up over here. You're going to see a fail and a pass. You're going to probably see some, some information there. If you don't see information there, then let me know in the comments below. But that's all of the processes that are currently running. So I'll give this a few seconds. If you notice, there are certain numbers here. What do these numbers represent? These numbers represent the RSSI DBM. And what is RSSI DBM? So the RSSI stands for Received Signal Strength Indicator. And the DBM stands for decibels in relation to milliwatt. So do you see these numbers? You've got negative 68 all the way through negative 74. So the number that's closer to zero, which would be the negative 68, because zero would be up here, and then negatives keep going further and further away. So from a negative perspective, negative 63 is closer to zero. So the numbers on top are going to be stronger than the numbers on the bottom. So I'm trying to see how I can get this to refresh. I'm wondering if it will find my specific Wi-Fi router. I don't see it here. All right, give me a second and I'll be right back. So I have a few more values here, but I still don't see my wireless router. So what I'm going to do is swipe up, hit the circle, go back into my desktop, and then from settings, I'm going to click on Wi-Fi. And from there, I should be able to see my Wi-Fi connection. And there it is. It's a Fios ZRCL8. That is my connection. These do look familiar. Those were there as well. If I click on that, all right, let's do this. Let's swipe up. Let's go to settings. Let's actually disconnect this. Let's forget. All right, so I've just forgotten that connection. Maybe now it'll show up because I'm not connected at all. So let's swipe up and come here. And, and there it is, ah, that's why. Okay, so unfortunately you will have to disconnect your wireless connection and then it'll show up here. And as you can see, my Fios connection is, wow, that's excellent. It's at a negative 48. What is a good number? If you're going to be streaming video, you should have a number that's less, actually, if you're looking at negatives and positives, then you really wanna say you should have a number that's higher than negative 70. Negative 70 uh, RSSI DBM. All right, and once again, RSSI DBM, I'm gonna put that at the bottom of, the, of this screen so you can see what RSSI means and what DBM means. But you should have, it's recommended that you have a number negative 70 or higher. And when I say higher, I mean higher on this list that's closer to zero. So as you can see, mine is a negative 47. It is the strongest connection out of everything here. Awesome. So let's hope that yours is that good. Let's see what happens if I click on it. Does it give me anything? Double click on it, nothing. All right, so now that you know, use this test, run this test, this Wi-Fi test, to determine what your wireless signal strength is, your RSSI DBM strength is. You wanna have something negative 70 or higher. And mine is, wow, mine is awesome. So from here, we'll swipe up, close this out, hit the square to show everything running again, go back into settings, click on my connection, and give me a second. All right, so I'm connecting right now. It's obtaining an IP address and it is connected. So now you know how to check your Wi-Fi strength. Once again, you'll have to go into developer options and I've shown you how to do that. You'll have to actually go into privilege mode first using the 10 tap technique or a T cubed. Then you'll have to go into about tablet and you'll have to hit on the build number several times until you get something here and it'll say, well, for me, it's saying I'm already a developer. Just keep hitting on that and eventually that will give you developer options. Then you're going to go back. You'll click on developer options and then you'll go all the way to the bottom and you'll see the open buried app. 
you'll click on that you'll change it to tango c you won't touch anything here please do me a favor if you want i'll do a video on this comment below if you'd like me to do a video on, on these options one day but it's not for today you'll swipe up and go back it'll say open buried app tango c you'll click on it again and then you'll change to Malata engineer mode i hope i'm saying that right you'll get this test you go to your wi-fi test and then there you'll actually see a bunch of different values they're called rssi dbm values and then what you'll do is you'll want your wireless connection to be at the top mine isn't there because i've already connected but you know what you'll have to do you'll have to swipe up you'll have to go back actually not back you'll have to hit the circle you'll have to go into settings you'll have to go into wi-fi and you'll have to click on your wi-fi connection and you'll have to forget it like that commercial set it and forget it but this time you're just not setting it and forgetting it you'll forget it you'll hit done well when you forget it you won't be connected anymore then you'll swipe up you go to your square that shows all your apps and then it will show here mine's not showing there because i still left it connected and what you want to see is you want to see a value that's higher than negative 70. that's closer to zero so you want to have a value negative 70 or less or, i'm sorry or higher like or negative 69 68 mine was i believe negative 50 all the way to negative 48 that's an actual excellent connection and then from there you can determine and let's go ahead and pass from there you can determine why it is that maybe some of the apps that you're running are coming in choppy they're not running well but you really need a negative 70 or better RSSI DBM connection or strength of signal in order for you to be able to stream video. All right. I hope this worked out for you. Remember, it's the Wi Fi test. If you'd like, comment below and I can do a video on all of these tests. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's go ahead and close all of these. I always like clearing up everything. Let's click on iFit. Sometimes iFit won't come back. If you've switched off of the iFit app, and then you started doing other things in privilege mode. When you come back, this is what happens. iFit will probably reset and then it will start all over. But that's not a problem because if you actually were, oh, you have to excuse this. I have a tarp on here because it's in the kitchen. It's in a makeshift kitchen. <laughs> and uh, if you'd like to know why my X22i, if you'd like to know why my X22i is in a makeshift kitchen, just comment below and I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, iFit's coming back up. We're good to go. You now know how to check your Wi-Fi signal strength. If you'd like what you saw in this video, if this information was helpful, then please comment below and then hit the like button. As a matter of fact, smash that like button so that I know that you want me to continue delivering content like this. All right, we'll see you soon. Look for several other videos coming up. But for now, I'm out of here. Dr. NT. Talk to you soon.